Okay, so Kim messes up every season. She messed up last season. She said that she was going to transition to a man in an interview. Did you guys hear that interview of hers? We see your skin glowing sometimes, Alyssa, and we should leave you alone. Who was that? Was that Kim? I think it was Kylie. Thanks. Thanks for the book report, jerks. Um, Sister-in-laws. I mean, barely. Not really. But anyway, Kim messed up last season because she said she was going to transition to a man. And I already said that I'm Baphomet. I'm the one thing. I'm the one molecule. I'm the one that can switch back and forth. Not you, Kim. I never said to like give yourself credit for being Baphomet on a freaking national news thing or whatever. I never said for you to come forward at, to transition to trans. I never asked you to do that. I never asked you to be my midwife. I never asked you to take credit for anything that I do. Or literally anything that I am. And now this season, it's Halloween. I was just scrolling on TikTok and she's literally a reptilian. Whoops. A white albino reptilian, Kim, really? The white the white albino reptilian is literally Putin, okay? It's a lot of people's higher self, but it's a man and it's literally Putin, okay? It's not even that's not even your real reptilian skin. I think your re real reptilian skin is tan, Kim. Because I think she's literally my reptilian wife. <laughs> like, I think I met her a long time ago. I think she was the reptilian that I attacked a long time ago. Looks like she hasn't learned her lesson. That was really long time ago. That was like, I don't even know when that was. That was a really long time ago. Probably like 2005 or something. And I met Kim and she was a rep. It was probably Kim because it looked like Kim. It was dressed like Kim. And it was her reptilian suit and she was a tan reptilian and it was like when I was a little confused and I attacked her and you know what? You never learned your lesson. Way to go, Kim. Like you just learn your lessons, you dumbasses. Like, oh my God. Like just so annoying. Like. I never asked you to like try to like rep me and like be cool. Like, oh, what's cool? What's cool right now? Oh, this is always talking about reptilians. So let me try to be a reptilian. Like, I want to be cool and hip and with it. And I want to take all of, like, you know, with my money, I want to take all of my, take all her credit. For, you know, like, it's just. Like all of the money that she could have done with, to, you know, with that fabrication of that freaking rep, t reptilian suit. She messed up two, she, she's, ta she's taken credit for me two seasons in a row. I just can't get over how like you guys cannot learn your freaking lesson on this stupid planet. Like you're not cool, Kim. Guess what, Kim? I saw a lot of the tapes. Like it's 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 me. It's my life you're talking about. You're just being a jerk right now. Okay, so anyway, great. Now I'm pissed off.
Fantastic. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful Halloween for me. Look at me and look at me and like all of my money. And like, I get to like go to like a beautiful Halloween party tonight because like everyone's paying attention to me, right? No. Great job, Kim. Great effing job. Like seriously. Um, so they aren't celebrating Halloween in Shanghai tonight because it, it's literally Chinese and that's literally where my husband is from and he has to honor the wife and honor the blessing. And I have an entire city shut down for ha Halloween because my husband is so romantic. And then I have Kim being an ac absolute jerk. That's alive, right? You're alive. Like my dead husband is more romantic than you, Kim. You're a live jerk, and he's a dead romantic. Why, why do I always run back to Brandon? I don't know. It'll be, it's a mystery. It's a mystery to this day. Well, Kim, guess what? Did, did, did any, <laughs> oh my God, Kim was probably the one that I attacked a long time ago that I told April about. And I was like, okay, don't worry about it. I did attack one, one time. No wonder she likes beige so much. It's the color of her real skin, her beige reptilian exterior. Every day, it's like, let's piss off Alyssa more and more and more. I mean, you guys know what's coming, right? Like, can you even believe we're here? I just, I think I did talk about that this morning or last night. But like a few years ago, if you would have like said all of this stuff was happening this year, you would have all been like, there's no way. Like, when we, when I worked at Mattel, people didn't even like, people made fun of people that liked crystals. Like I remember being made fun of at Mattel for like, I don't know, like for Christmas or for something, I gave everyone a crystal, you know, I gave like my whole team a crystal, like e each one I gave like a little crystal and like I got made fun of for it like a few days later or whatever. And now look at us. Now look at, now look at society. Okay, like, um, yeah, okay, so, I mean, now everyone brings crystals into their office cubicle and, like, puts crystals, like, all over their cubicle to, like, try to help them with the negative vibes. I mean, that's, like, really, like, old technology now, guys, and you really need to, like, step up your game. It's, like, 15-year-old technology now. I mean, you're, like, so behind the curve, right? And then, like, you have, like, freaking Lisa Romano or whatever her name is, the freaking narcissist doctor, like, literally going crazy with Mel Gibson. And they literally, like, the, like, they literally, if you go listen to their interview, like, together, they just literally are, like, treating each other like a mom and a daughter, and they're, like, not making any sense, and, um, Alyssa, can you just, like, take it as a joke and move on with your life? Are you kidding me, Kim? Are you really saying that? Like, what is wrong with Kim Kardashian that she fails every single freaking semester? How the hell did she become my wife? Like, okay, so it's like bizarro. It's like bizarro. Like I expect it from Kylie. Like literally like just the other day, like Kim's like plastic surgery is not real. Don't worry. Like, 
you know, I'll come forward. Like it's fake. Like being famous is fake. I hope you actually become a famous person. She did say that. She was like, I hope, I hope Liz becomes a famous person because I want her to see how fake it is. I don't want be, I don't want to become a famous person. So it might be some backlash, whiplash for that or whatever. But, um, I just, I think I already told you the story about how, like, I connected with Kim, and it was, like, through watching her show, and, like, I saw, I was like, okay, she's, like, a real, she's, like, a real nice person, she's, like, a nice person, but now, like, every season, she's, like, taking credit for stuff that I literally do, and I'm like, what are you doing, Kim, like, you're clearly listening in. And then Scott's like, Scott's like literally stealing my lines. He's like, this is going to affect the whole family. And Chloe's like the whole family. And Scott's like the whole family. And it's like, that's like the kind of stuff I've been saying for years. Like it's a family conversation. It's always been a family conversation and like, you know, how everything affects, it always affects your family. And you know, I mean, obviously their whole fucking TV show is a goddamn scam because they're just listening in and like, it's always one room. It's always the same room. It's always the same conversations. Kim's obviously going crazy, but like, yes, I did see her hand me her black, like whatever, black Amex or something yesterday to pay for everything. Cause I was like, who's going to pay for this? And Kim's like, I will pay for it. And she like slid her credit card, like across the table and she put her head on the table and she was just like, I hope this goes through. Cause I'm so sick of this. But then she like dresses like a, like a reptilian for Halloween and doesn't invite me to the freaking party. Like, do you think I'm not going to like, do you think I'm not going to like, that's not going to affect me, Kim. Like, do you think that's not going to hurt me? It's literally my favorite holiday. Like, it's so mean. I already told you, Shanghai is not, is, is not important to us, Kim. Why the heck would be dressing like a reptilian queen be important to us if Shanghai is not important to us? Do you know how rich that city is, Kim? Do you have any idea how rich you think you're rich? You think you're rich, Kim? Guess how rich Shanghai is, okay? I'm I'm Chinese, okay? I know that's going to offend a lot of people if I ever get famous, but I'm Chinese. I can shapeshift into Brandon Lee and shapeshift back, okay? Isn't he Chinese? I'm Chinese, okay? I'm freaking Chinese, okay? So that was a nice thing that my husband did for me for this year, and it was very romantic because I can't party. I can't party this year because none of my friends are fucking coming forward and claiming the queen, okay? And then I have my, my wife backstabbing me. <sighs> yeah, Kim, why don't you shut down Calabasas for Halloween? Try to one-up me instead. What a nice wife you are. So rude. So rude. So rude. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, and it's going to affect the whole family, Scott. Yeah, this conversation is going to affect the whole family. Okay? Why don't you say it on your show and prove you're, prove you're listening in. Prove the, you're the funniest Kardashian. Who are you going to thank for your private jet, Scott? Me or Kim? You want to thank, thank Kim still? You still want to thank Kim? So I just saw um, the products that I ordered became holograms. So that means they have no energy. Okay, so you're going to order a bunch of products without energy in them. So good luck on your marketing. Good luck marketing skims, Ken. <laughs> skims, Kim. <laughs> Okay, so (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the products just became holograms. So that means they are in the process of losing energy, we'll say. They're in the process of lo losing energy because it's like flashing, like warning, warning. Your products are about to lose all energy and become holograms. Nobody's going to need them anymore. So yeah, it's going to definitely put a dent in capitalism. Kim. Okay. Kim, are you balding or something? Like, what's going on? What is going on, Kim? I don't know if you guys can hear her or not, but she's clearly... Okay, so... Um... <laughs> Wait till she goes to the void and sees that she's talking to herself. Did I hear you? Did I hear you, Kris Jenner? Did I hear you the first time? If I'm talking to myself, why is nobody responding to me? Must not be talking to my <laughs> must not be talking to myself if nobody's responding to me, right? Because if I'm the only thing, I'm the only like. Because when I go to the void, I see that it's just me. It's literally just Alyssa, right? And that's what makes me God. But if it's literally just me then why isn't anybody responding to me in 3D reality? Why is it, why are people only responding to me telepathically? Okay. It's not just me then. You have a different personality and a different ego altogether that's completely out of line with me because I would respond to myself because I'm a nice person. Yeah. Pretty sure your argument's been null and void for a while. You just keep keep saying the same lines every season to try to put me back into my void. And then things get crappier and crappier for here on planet Earth. Well, whoever's talking, you obviously have a task and you're not doing it. And so you're a part of the problem as well, okay? Um, I haven't even gotten to what the next part is. Beauty and the Beast castles. What's next? And there's also this thing on Reddit that proves that you guys were talking about me a year ago. I mean, these messages are definitely these YouTube messages. I definitely, I definitely said this in one of my previous videos, but these, these messages actually go back in time and you guys have said to me telepathically over walls that, I've been warning you guys about this for years and you never believed it would happen. And here we are, it's happening. And you said that, you know, I've been warning you for years and you guys have been watching my videos and all this stuff and like dreams and remembering it and writing down and everything. And like, you can't believe it's like actually happening and I'm actually recording it and putting it on YouTube. And, um, here we are, here we are. Okay. And then I just found like, some proof on Reddit. I'm already exhausted. I don't even want to talk about anything else anymore. Um, Brandon's reptilian is not bald, so I don't know. I don't really, like, whatever. Okay, so. I don't like it when her eyes get shady. Daddy, I like it when her eyes pop with color. Can you please tell Queen Alyssa? Weird. I like it when my eyes pop with color, too. So you don't really have to like give me your request, little kid, and know that like I'm in charge and not you. 
Okay, so you guys want me to start an Amazon wish list. I will probably start an Amazon wish list so you can see what um, you should buy me, even though I come on here and I probably yell at you straight up in your house, tell you tell you what to buy me. The energy, I right after I recorded that video this morning, I felt an energy surge from the bottom of my spine all the way up to the back, so it felt like the, a metallic... Um, energy, metallic, electric spike up the spine energy. It didn't feel, I want to say it didn't feel human. I want to say it felt alien. Um, and the, let's see the Reddit post. This is how crazy you guys are. Do you guys also think the Beauty and the Beast castle is too colorful? Beast, this is a post on Reddit, and I think that Reddit is mainly Atlanteans, but I could be wrong. There could be, um, I don't even know what we call it. What do we call us? I forget. Anyway, my crew the royal court or whatever they, they could be on here but this post is definitely from Atlanteans Beast Castle and it's posted from one year ago and I don't know if I can see the specific date or not I'm not obviously a big reddit user Beast Castle is white beige stone with red roof in the animated movie and I feel like the game in the game like the in game castle has a whole I've been seeing spaceships in the sky all day guys I just saw one has a whole different vibe with the pink roof and bluish gray stone also the random light green and beige it just looks too different from the original half frown half smiley face also, the inside of the castle is so disappointing compared to Anna's and Eric's. Anna and Eric. That's weird. Isn't it Anna and Kristoff or Eric and Ariel? If you're talking about Disney Princess. Um, Anna and Eric. Is someone trying to hope for that or trying to arrange for a messed up um, Disney princess show on say TikTok or Netflix or something when Anna where Anna's with Eric and the comment oh and then then the response was I don't mind the exterior but the interior compared to Eric's and Anna slash Kristoff's, so that person got that part right, is tiny, especially compared to their amazing realm, which is my favorite so far. They went from a literal castle to a one bedroom apartment. And then the subtweet under that is studio apartment, not even one bedroom. I expected it to be much closer to Anna's. Now, I read that Reddit a day after I posted about how I lived in maybe a studio apartment, maybe a one bedroom, when I went to the luxury apartment of Anna's, aka Sabrina's, and the conversation continued with uh, obviously an Aunt Lanian's comment uh, uh, making fun of me and where I was living, even though I'm literally the royal princess, and that just goes to show like how much they care about me. They don't care about me and how much they want to punish me and how much they don't want me to be in my own video game, how much they wish I didn't exist and how much they love to make fun of me that I don't live, live in my literal castle. So um, that's actually a point for me because you're being so obvious that you hate me and that helps um, – what does that do?
I think just when you're like so obvious like that and you clearly used your mouth and you clearly thought it was a semi secret conversation because it's like on this like Reddit page and you're obviously anonymous posters and whatever and um, you're talking trash about the real princess because you Atlanteans always say that like you know you're talking about me. Um, but you like talking code and whatever, and you taught my brother to talk in code, which didn't, you know, didn't affect the rest of our energy in a negative way or anything like that. So, um, I think it's just blatant when they post like this, that they want to punish me in some way for being the Royal thing in the game. And yeah, and it was also like a continu- it also shows that time isn't linear and that time is um, a continuous thing um, even when it's nonlinear. So like I posted that video like yesterday about Sabrina's apartment and then like I was getting and I'll talk about the Beauty and Beast download. I was getting this Beauty and the Beast download and I just like typed it in to look at the castle and then it went straight to this Reddit. And I was like, wow, they're talking shit about me a year ago. And it's like the conversation just continued. It's like, it's like I went to work the next day and some random coworker is saying this passive aggressively right in front of my face to another coworker. And I can't respond because then I will look like a crazy person if I get defensive over a stupid cartoon, right? Again, like you guys love to gaslight and you, but we know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Like us Royals, we do know exactly what you're talking about and it's definitely not in code and it's definitely, um, you're being sued from space for saying that. Okay. And it's, um, my dad's saying there is more to that conversation that I am trying to get out of him. Um, as to like why that's a point for me, but we're not going to discuss it right now. Um, It's also a lead for my brothers because they hear this information and they go after those types of people. So really great job. Just know like your conversations are never secret and it always comes out with the wash. And... um, you know, it'll always be Oscar season in that way. Um, I mean, I could really use a drink and the product is becoming a freaking hologram. So I don't know what to tell you guys on my favorite holiday. Um, I am, ex- I'm really exhausted too. Yeah, and that, like, literally, isn't that funny how the conversation just continues? Oh, I know why. Because um, it's an equal and opposite reaction in the other way. So it's, like, causing the alien invasion to happen faster. Um, So, and he did... Adrian did say that this morning, um, that all of like the, and I think I've said that multiple times. It's just like, I can't remember like all the stuff. And it's sort of like, if you guys don't help me with the video game, it's easier for us to like, um, like sift you out of like the game or whatever. And it definitely doesn't require me to be accurate on here or like to say or to explain it to you like you're five years old or anything because like the creator doesn't really owe the creation very much, you know. So um, it's like whatever. But I just wanted to know for myself. And then he's going to give it to, he was going to remind me eventually. Overthinking also puts me back in my void. That's another reason why me recording these and putting these on YouTube. Um, 
is another point for me and why you guys feel so intimidated and you feel so um, threatened by me posting twice a day. I mean, but it's kind of normal for you being like so insecure and everything. Um, oh, the Beauty and the Beast download. So next we will be going to Beauty and the Beast house. I do want to say, or the Be Beauty and the Beast castle, I do want to say this is probably related to the yellow house. I could be wrong. I mean, it's not your house, so don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Um, like, don't worry about where me and my family live and everything like that. Um... So, I'm really tired, guys. So, hell is filling in more and more every day because you guys are embodying it more and more every day. And that's actually embodying it when you guys do that. Okay, so it's like saying kind of like where you're from. So, that's embodying it. And you guys are embodying it more and more in every day. And it's making hell come up and fill with goo and literally fill in with demonic goo, demonic inspiration. And it's filling in the clown show. And you guys probably won't like the results because we are extremely shocked this year. I mean, I think everyone's really shocked at like how the Atlanteans are handling their downloads from last year. And how they just want to continue in that same direction. And um, because of that, it's causing hell to fill in. And the next layer would be Beauty and the Beast. The next layer of hell would be Beauty and the Beast. And I believe it's related to my yellow house, which is a house that my family... <laughs> it's so funny because, like, my family... I've heard people in my family actually say out loud with their mouth, um, they don't remember me growing up in this house. They remember me growing up in a yellow house with either my uncle as the father or um, Brandon, Brandon as the father. And me and my siblings, like growing up in that separate house. And like separate siblings in this house, I guess, without me. And I've, and that house was yellow and that house was magical. And me and the kids, me and my siblings were all dressed as like little princes and princesses. And, um, That's really interesting because I had never heard that before this year. Um, I just had never heard that download before this year. Like I grew up in a completely different house with my siblings, but we grew up with Brandon as the father. I don't have any memories of that. I have memories of growing up in this house with my siblings. That's what I remember. So I don't know. That's just... Um, that's just a download I overheard from a member of my family. Um, so, so if, if we continue in this direction, we go to Beauty and the Beast, then with the goo filling up the demonic energy, it will then fill up earth with demonic poltergeist energy. And the reason it's called Beauty and the Beast season is because, you know, in Beauty and the Beast and the castle and like there's Lumiere and like um, I don't, Chip and I don't remember his mom's name, but like every everything talks and like everything's alive. Like, um, like everything is conscious. Like this cup is like, has like a face and it's conscious and it like moves around. Like the whole castle's like that. And Belle's like taken care of by like these, like, you know, 
what we would call possessed objects. But obviously they're friendly in, in the Disney movie, but you guys get what I'm saying. So that is the direction that we're going in. Lots and lots and lots of possessed houses and possessed items. And um, where my little vapes can just like dance on over to my house. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that, but you know, we couldn't believe before we were talking about a lion, God, alien, higher self. <laughs> so, Hey, here, you know, I'm talking about something that, you know, I'm having a hard time believing can happen. I mean, how crazy would that be? Okay. It'd be super cool. I think it would be cool. You guys would probably be scared as hell, but I wouldn't, but, uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm saying that. But anyway, that's what I saw coming next. And obviously, if hell fills in, there's going to be a lot of hellish um, pictures as well. Okay. But yeah, Kim, stop trying to impress me by like showing that you're listening in or so. I don't know. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what? What, what's Kim's deal? Like, why would you dress like a reptilian? Why don't you just say, I love Alyssa? Why would you dress like a reptilian? <laughs> why don't you say, like, I believe in aliens and I believe in reptilian. I believe I'm a reptilian. Maybe, like, start there or something. I don't know. I don't know. 